Hi, welcome to JJ's Productions. It's Saturday, so that's another Hitman Roulette. We're in Sapienza and we're doing the World of Tomorrow level once again. We're going to be taking out Silvio Caruso and Francesca DeSantis. We're going to be starting in the church morgue and we're going to be getting a church staff disguise so that we can kill Caruso with a fool. We're going to be taking out Francesca DeSantis as the private detective using a katana. We're going to make sure we do not use firearms as distractions or to destroy objects. And we're going to be exiting via the speedboat in the ruins. So all in all, quite an interesting roulette. First thing we're going to do is get the church staff disguise. So we're going to turn the tap there to overflow that sink. And the church staff member will walk in and we can take his outfit. As soon as he walks through the door, he'll turn to the sink. You can use any form of melee weapon to take him down and as soon as he's subdued just put him in a crate on the right hand side of the room. It's a pretty simple start and it's an easy way to get the first disguise we're going to need. The trick of this roulette I've found is just making sure that the two disguises in question are available when we need them. The private detective is quite a nuisance so you have to get good timing to make sure you got his disguise when you need it. So. We're going to go and start on the private detective now that we've got the church staff disguise. There are two routes to the private detective. You can go this route, which I'd consider a back alley, or you can go on the main high street and then cut inside. Whichever way you go, all you have to do is turn a radio on. I'd turn the radio on other than any other method for the simple reason he's a super enforcer essentially, or an ultra enforcer, whatever you want to call him. Is aware of all 47's disguises, so you just don't want to be there when he wakes up. Once you've woke him up, we're going to go to the safe house. So, just following this route, it's pretty much straight up the high street now, and so first door on the right, pretty much. Inside, I've bought along mixtape 47. Now, it wasn't necessarily because we're going to use the audio distraction, it's because it's an illegal item. So, if you haven't got mixtape 47 unlocked, just bring any illegal item that isn't a proximity explosive. I mean, you can use that gun there as well. Just make sure that you've got something that you can lure a guard away with. You'll see why in a bit. From here, we're going to Rocco's apartment and we're going to put on the kitchen assistant disguise. We're going to poison Silvio's food so that he's ready for his own kill later on. But in the meantime, we need to get the poison. So we're going to go into the kitchen and while we're going to go into the kitchen via this window and inside this little storage room there are two cans of expired spaghetti sauce we're going to poison Silvio's food with one of the cans and we're going to save the other can for later so put the expired can into the sauce and then we're going to make our way to the observatory area use these stairs here just to avoid the camera you can pick the crowbar up if you want just as an extra melee weapon for ease of use sake but then just avoid the camera and go through this window here at that point if you noticed I also dropped the gun out of my inventory the reason for that is I wanted that guard to see it because I'm not going to ring the bell as the kitchen assistant I'm going to use a different disguise and because I'm going to use a different disguise ringing the bell is an illegal action Therefore, I wanted to make sure that that guard wasn't in the way. Otherwise, I've got to keep an eye on two guards head turning. It's a small thing, but you've just got to be aware of it. So as you can see, I'm climbing up here and the katana is up here. So what I need really is two things. I need the katana in question, and I also need a way of moving it. The best way I've found is to get a disguise. And it just so happens there are two available up here. So I throw the brick just to make a noise, it separates the two guards, I've got the expired can of spaghetti sauce in hand, all I've got to do is whack one on the head and then throw it at the other. It's a pretty simple double takedown. Once that's done we're going to hide both bodies, you don't really have to I believe, I just prefer to play safe than sorry as you may be aware by now, but if you want to take the risk you can just leave them both there and pick up the katana. I'd also take one of their disguises though because that is the important bit here. If you don't take their disguise, the only other way I could think of getting the katana anywhere near where we're going to kill Francesca is using a breach charge. I haven't bought, well I have brought breach charges with me, but they're for a different purpose. So if you want to try that method, by all means, but I would avoid that method if I had the choice. So, we've got the katana, we've got a disguise where we can wear the katana. Now all we've got to do is ring the bell so that Sylvia will come and have his food. 
So we're going down the stairs as we've all just backed away with game pretty much. We aren't going through the door just because the camera will spot us, so we're going around the back entrance, or the back exit, whichever way you want to call it. We're going to go just around the circle in the area, and we're going to just ring that bell. There's one guard now, and he tends not to look at the bell, but just keep an eye on him. As you can see, I just turn just as I do it, because I think I want to know if I'm going to get caught. So, as you can see, he didn't look, and from here we're just going to go out onto the main arbour area now. We're going to get the mansion keycard off this table so that we can exit the mansion and from there we're actually in the town of Sapienza again. So we're at the five minute mark now and the private detective has just been talking to one of his clients, just having a little chat by the church, and he's now going to go to the toilet. I will admit, I had an idea about how to take out the virus because this is a, a, the standard level, it isn't a contract I've created. And I was going to use the scientist just on the left there with the enforcer. But I changed my mind, so that's why I was looking that way. But either way, it made good time with the private detective, just as he was going in here. So we're going to hide him in the crate and move on. I wish I could have carried on with this idea, though, with uh, the scientist and that enforcer. Well, my idea had been to create a, an explosion or a distraction just to delay her, but I couldn't get her to slow her route down, so I'm a little disappointed there. I even tried knocking her out early and just leaving her in the uh, confession booth with the priest. I just couldn't get enough done before a body was found, so I'm a little frustrated I had to leave it like that, but I would have liked to have taken out the virus using the dongle method, but... Say, Livy, there's nothing I could do there. So, we're just going to wait for that enforcer to pass by. I say we're going to wait, that you should wait. I tried to rush, thinking, oh, he won't see me, and yes, he was about to walk straight into me. So, take your time, just wait for him to pass by, and then all you got to do is nice climb up the pipe towards the safe day. house. You could go the long way around if you want, but I just don't see the point in that. So, just climb the pipe, and we're going back into Rocco's apartment. Therefore, we've got the church staff disguise back on, and all we've got to do is creep our way through to where Silvio will throw up. It's pretty simple at this point what to do. It just requires a little bit of awareness of what's going on. For example, the head chef won't be there, so that makes it easier to sneak through the kitchen. So all you've got to really be aware of is the two chefs in there, and they are fairly easy to manoeuvre around once they're in their set positions rather than rotating as they tend to do. So, move along the ledge. As before, you could drop down if you wanted. In fact, there might be one benefit to dropping down, which is that you can take out Rocco's sister if, if she happens to pass by. You'll see why in a moment. But, as you can see, both them two chefs there, they're just busy doing their own thing. I was a bit sloppy here. I got caught by the camera. So, it's, it doesn't really matter because I can delete the surveillance anyway. But, if you've got a way of deleting the surveillance, you can take it. So we're going through the observatory area, and then we're just in prime position, as I've said, to take out Silvio. There's not a lot longer to wait. I was actually bored, so I thought I'll just get the Biolab keycard, just to make it easier to manoeuvre around the area later on. But besides that, all I was doing at this point was just waiting, because as you can see, he's just about to throw up, but he wasn't really there yet. So, yeah, just having a look at the view. While you're waiting, if you could give this video a like, or consider subscribing to the channel, I would greatly appreciate that. So, he's on his way here, and yeah, I've done this exact kill, to be honest, quite recently for Hitman for Noobs. You'll see the video on Monday. And yeah, I was a little disappointed I had to do the same kill for that, because I'd got uh, different methods in mind. I wanted to do either a fire axe kill, or the amputation knife, or just some form of melee weapon and then hide him in the crate. But for whatever reason, the animation in the game forces 47 to push the body over. So I'm going to have to look, have a little think on that and maybe do something different in the future. But that's how it is. If I'm going to do a, a kill, I've got to sometimes repeat myself. Now this is the bit where I was talking about the audio distraction. I throw one audio distraction device and one breach charge. That removes both of these guards from this area, meaning that it's easier to get out of this little illegal area. It should have been easier, but that's Rocco's sister. She just nearly caught me, 
and I was in a funny spot because there was someone just at the front of the mansion who caught a glance on me, and you got Rocco's sister there, so it was a rock and hard place at that point. Luckily, neither got too much of a glimpse of me, and she carries on tying a shoelace. But, like I said, if you can do something to get rid of her, I'd do it, because she is a little pain. Once she's moved, though, just climb up here, and we're going to go back down the pipe. From that point, we're just going for the private detective outfit, and we can just initiate the opportunity with Francesca DeSantis. This is pretty straightforward from this point. I don't feel like there's too much to explain, at least if you're familiar with the game. The difficulty with this entire route was trying to come up with a way of getting the private detective disguise, and like I say, I really wanted to use the dongle method for the virus because I thought that'd be a really good way to just quickly do that without having to use firearms or to, as a distraction or to destroy the virus. And it really disappointed me that I couldn't find a way to take the lab technician out and get to the private detective in time. So, yeah, even now I'm a little bit annoyed that I couldn't do it, but maybe there'll be a way another time. But yeah, as you can see I'm just going towards Francesca. I'm actually going the exact way I went with the katana for the simple reason I want to make sure that the katana is still there. I know that sounds ridiculous because melee weapons don't get moved, but I just had this image in my head of a silly NPC walking by and just kicking it and then I'm like, where is it? So. I want to make sure I pass by and actually see that it's still where I left it. But yeah, at this point, just initiate the conversation with Francesca, and she'll say, right, let's go get some privacy. If you haven't seen this before, I will cover it soon enough in Hitman for Noobs. So, yeah, we'll get a chance to play it, if not now, later on as well. As far as this contract goes, I'm not exactly sure what else I would have liked to have done to improve it, because I think the only bit I'm disappointed in is the fall condition for Silvio. I, it might have been more tricky had the starting location been different, but besides that, the fall kill is really the only disappointment because it only really sets up one opportunity. You either use the opportunity that I've just used, which is poisoning him, or I could imagine maybe trying to get into Silvio's bedroom where he talks to the therapist and maybe knocking him out and then dropping him from somewhere, but for me that is a little bit, bit more messy. You know, you aren't actually pushing him, you're just dropping him. So, yeah, there isn't a great alternative with the fall, whereas with the katana, there at least there were a few options where you could do it. You know, even with the private detective disguise, you could have just snuck into the mansion and took her out in there. So, yeah, I'm a little disappointed with the Silvio option, but overall, I'm not too disappointed. So I've killed Francesca as you've seen, and I've used a breach charge to get into the lab. I wasn't going through all the way through the mansion just to get in here. I'm going to go into this little security otters I call it, and I'm going to wipe out the surveillance. I'm also going to get a disguise whilst I'm in here because, I, well the only way I can actually take out the virus is to actually manually destroy it. And for that I will need first a lab technician disguise, and then I'll need an hazmat suit. So it's not the easiest way to do it, it's certainly not the quickest, but unfortunately it's the only way the roulette actually allowed me to do it. I mean, I could have set this up in a contract where I could have just exited once I killed Francesca, but I would have still had to exit via the, the uh, speedboat ruins. So it just felt natural to go through the lab to actually destroy the virus. So yeah, I'm not too disappointed, but it's a shame it couldn't have been a quicker route just because of this little bit. But as you can see, it's not too much my drive, not this lab technician out. I would have preferred it to have been a clean knockout, but unconscious witness, it didn't affect my score. I take his disguise, I don't pick anything up because there's nothing there of real value. I'm just going to go into the security of, of the, not the security of, I've already been there. I'm going to go into the lab, use the key card. I won't get any suspicion going in this way. And what I'm going to do is blend in, because that enforcer there is just about to turn around, and I didn't fancy getting caught. As soon as you know she's looking the other way, you can make through that door that she's just standing by. We're going to get an hazmat suit from in there, so and from when we're inside the virus room, as I'd call it, we are going to manually destroy it. In hindsight, I wish I'd bought some emetic poison, because it would have sped things up fractionally, 
but it isn't a major big deal. Let this guy go past, and from there we're going to go straight to the right hand side and we're going to sabotage a computer. That takes a few seconds to do, and then once that bit's done we are going to just go over here and we're going to manually override that with the robot arm. I've got no idea what that's all about, but it's just two ways to get two of the Azmatsu guys looking the other way. Once they're distracted, all you got to do is go map up to the virus and destroy it. It's pretty straightforward, you don't even have to blend in because they don't get suspicious that way. The other asthmat suit guy in this room is just busy so you don't have to worry about him. Just turn the virus temperature right up and then you can leave. Now, again I had a little bit of a funny moment here. I'm not sure I did the right thing but maybe you can understand what I was thinking. I put the lab technician disguise back on. That didn't really help me out because that means that female enforcer can see me. So, it was a bad move. Really, I should have stuck in the hazmat suit because it meant I could have left this little building a little quicker. But instead, I stuck around. So, yeah, I'm wondering what other people would think. Do you think I was wrong to leave the hazmat suit? Or should I have... was I right to keep the go back to the lab technician outfit? I'm curious what you've got to say there. But as for that, all I've got to do is make to the exit, and the speedboat, speedboat ruins exit isn't too far away. So we're going to leave the little outhouse again there, and it's a pretty straight walk. We haven't even got any enforcers to worry about. So from here, I'd just like to say thank you for watching again. If you have enjoyed this video, please leave it a like, and if you're enjoying these Hitman roulettes, or Hitman in general, consider subscribing to the channel because there are going to be plenty of Hitman videos in the future as well as over a hundred already. What I would also ask you is if you're enjoying Hitman Roulette specifically, I would request that in the comments section could you please leave a suggested roulette, whether it is one that you've done yourself that you enjoyed that you think I might, or if it's one that you've struggled with and you think I might be able to help you out with. I'm looking for general interest in the roulettes and what the people are doing, so any community contracts I'm very interested in. Other than that, all I can say is this has been Josh from JJ's Productions, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye for now.